Hello there. Uh, this is a deceptively dull picture. It's a picture I really enjoyed doing. It was an amazingly good screenshot. I thought the screenshot was really, really kind of ominous and uh, layered and cloudy with the light shining upon it. And um, so I, I thought, well, I'll do it. And I quite liked its almost monochrome quality as well. That was quite good. So I thought, well, I'll have a go with that. And I really get a lot out of it. And I, and I picked out like three colours from my chalk box and I decided right, I'm going to do them in turn and do all of the all of the different tones and then obviously afterwards I started putting in more more in between colours but it allowed me to sort of block out quite a lot of the picture quite quickly and gave it quite a lot of uh, instant contrast I like the um, the existing dust clouds that you get in the asteroid fields this is a uh, probably a planetary ring I'm imagining. They're familiar shapes to me these rocks are actually. It's kind of funny uh, <laughs> that you get you get to know certain rocks. I'm not the sort of person to learn the shapes of the rocks to the degree that I could drop into a ring and then go to rock A and turn left and then get to rock B and then know that rock C is is going to have 50% painite or anything like that. I'm just not. It, 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 it's not for me. But the blowing up of the rock that they've introduced is just the gorgeous sound on it as well. The, the, the really low sonic boom that you get when the rock finally blows up. I mean, I, I don't know what it would sound like in the vacuum of space. <laughs> but I love the colour of the, the explosion as well and the, and the, the way that that light is emanating from the very centre of that of that cluster of rock particles as they start to fly out and then reveal the deposits of mineral on the inside of the rock that then you can mine them. This person's uh, flying uh, their imperial ship. I mined in a cutter and you have to you have to take into account the fact that it will go sideways for a long while when you're trying to go forwards. It's got great big engines on the back so it goes really fast but also tiny little pea shooters on the side so you, your thrust needs to be really umphy in order to actually move. Uh, it has a copper paint pack on this ship and I think that it's quite good that it's got that colour because it picks up the, the reds in the explosion of the asteroid as well which I quite like. That, um, that almost the glow that you're getting from both the ship and the asteroid and, and I quite like the little specks of rock coming out uh, in lines away from the asteroid as it blows apart. I think nearly everything in deep core mining is quite satisfying I mean you, you drop into the hot spot that you've found using your detailed scanner and uh, the hot spots glowing orange so you know within that area you're gonna find lots of rocks with potential deposits hidden inside them and then you can ping it all repeatedly with your pulse wave scanner that you've got like this little utility that you can fit on your ship that sends out a pulse and, and make certain rocks light up in your view screen and depending on what colour they light up if they're really really bright yellow with potentially a little green flash in them and stuff like that then you know that they might well have a fissure in uh, and you, if you look closer you can spot the little fissures that suggest that there's going to be minerals inside and then you can send out your prospect to limp it to see what's inside it and it'll have a little blue marker on it when your prospector information comes back and it, it'll say, you know, I don't know, Alexandrite or something inside and it's like, ooh, lovely, money. <laughs> anyway, I, I've, I've done, so I, I shall shut up now. Thank you for watching. I always appreciate it. <laughs> Bye.